A few weeks ago, I shared exciting news about nibocalumab receiving fast-track designation from the FDA for treating adults with moderate to severe Sjogren's disease. Since then, I have received numerous questions from many of you asking for more details, particularly about who might qualify and what potential side effects we should be aware of if we are considering this treatment option. Let's dive into the mechanism of action or how nipocalumab actually works, why it's showing promise for Sjogren's. Nipocalumab belongs to a class of medications known as the neonatal receptor antagonists. FCRN or the neonatal FC receptor plays a crucial role in regulating levels of our antibodies and specifically IgG antibodies. These antibodies provide our immune system memory, memory to vaccines we receive, infections we fight off, and often they are the type of antibodies that are our autoantibodies or antibodies that our body makes against our own tissues in the case of Sjogren's disease. In autoimmune conditions like Sjogren's, some of these IgG antibodies are directed against our own tissues. Now, going back to this review article from the New England Journal of Medicine, this neonatal receptor is normally acting as a recycling system for our IgG antibodies. It protects them from being broken down, digested, and it extends their half-life or it keeps them in our system around for longer. When we're using these medications, we are preventing this recycling process, and that is what nipocalumab does. It blocks the neonatal receptor, prevents IgG recycling, and this leads to an increase in clearance of our IgG antibodies, including those that are the problematic autoantibodies involved in Sjogren's disease. What makes this approach particularly interesting is that it targets a specific immune system pathway without causing broader immune suppression, which can occur with other treatments for autoimmune disease. So taking this more targeted approach could potentially offer a better safety profile while still effectively reducing disease activity. The data published so far suggests that nipocalumab can reduce the total IgG levels by approximately 70 to 80% when it's consistently dosed. 